everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here it is simply welcome to my channel i am rochelle and today we're starting a new vlog today is um tuesday october the 19th and it is approximately 4 54 and guys i'm irritated as hell today i am very irritated let me tell you I hate to start the blog off like this, but I'm, I'm irritated. So, about two years ago, I was in like a, a car accident, you know. Um, actually, a little bit over two years ago, I was in a car accident. Long story short, my car ended up getting totaled out. But um, I'm with Wells, uh, not Wells Fargo, I'm with um, State Farm. So, State Farm took care of me. You know, I had, my car got totaled out, but I did end up getting a new car. Um... You know, I've never been in an accident that severe before where you had to, like, get an attorney and stuff like that. So, I ended up going with the attorney's office that was that was suggested by um, the chiropractor. Well, you know, me knowing now, all of those guys, they're in cahoots and, you know, whatever. So, finally, after two years, the case has been settled. And the attorney's office contacts me and, uh, oh, you know the cases you know they we finally got the case resolved and your portion is going to be x amount and i'm like now say what now and so it is literally a fraction and so anyway i was like well what you know what happened what you know why is it like this oh well we had to go to court we had to do litigation whatever um and because we had to do litigation we had to take 40 percent and of course the doctors had to be paid and after all is said and done this is what you're left with okay you know so I'm counting out counting it all joy well they contacted me letting me because I had to sign um, electronically sign final documents and uh, so once you sign or well, I guess it goes like once you sign the final documents the money then is dis the check is then uh, a distribution is made in other words all right guys sorry about that the phone fell so what I was saying was anyway so a distribution was made long story short they kept contacting me like come pick up your check and it's I'm not rich of course I'm not rich I mean but it, things just kept happening where I couldn't go pick the check up well today I was like well let me go ahead on and get it you know because they contacted me again today about you know coming and getting the check out so I did go and get it or whatever <laughs> let me cut this hair off so I went and picked the check up but my I think I'm just more or less irritated because when I got there I literally had to wait 45 minutes and I'm not I mean I understand they had other people but I contacted them letting them know I was gonna come get the check so first of all I had to wait then I get the check and it's handwritten and I can't my name is spelled wrong it's just I don't know I'm just irritated like how the hell you been contacting me you've been emailing the right address my name is on the email address my name spelled wrong on the check just everything just wrong handwritten so they wrote the check again I take the check to Wells Fargo Wells Fargo look up the check and I'm like then it was like well before we cash the check let me look up where to you know like to see if this this company has the funds or whatever so the guy looked it up for me and stuff and so anyway yes the company they had the money and so he was like okay we good to go because i was shit i ain't gonna lie i was like i don't wanna i'm not trying to put this account and put this check in my account and then you know it bounced or whatever so anyway it, everything went through but i don't know i just i don't know i would just think like an attorney's office would be way more astute and professional than that right y'all i'm back the phone kept flying off the holster but anyway so i don't even remember what i was saying but um so i had the okay i think i was saying that the dude the guy at the wells fargo or whatever he um he um you know checked the account and stuff and you know so anyway i just put the check in my savings account i'm counting it all joy i'm grateful you know because the money did come in on time but y'all if y'all knew how much the company like how much the uh company who was being sued for the accident paid and what i got y'all would be pissed y'all would be like man that's that's some you know that's some that's i ain't gonna even say it it's just that's just that's just it's just highway robbery so anyway um i don't know i'm just i'm just irritated because that just shows you like how these attorneys you know, it's like they really come up. You know, like they got most of the of the money. I'm trying not to cuss. I ain't gonna even much lie. I'm trying not to cuss, but 
I'm pissed. So, any, and then gonna sit up and, and have me, I might not even put this in the vlog, but then gonna sit up and calling me, how the, how the hell you calling me all of these days? You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all calling and texting and, oh, you're in it, congratulations, hey, Rochelle, have shots, Marilyn, your check is here. When are we get? When are you gonna come and pick up your proceeds from the settlement? And I get that. I'm in it. I'm, I'm. I'm waiting for 45 minutes in there. That don't make no goddamn sense. So anyway, I got that out the way. But y'all, I'm gonna calm down. I'm pissed, but I'm gonna calm down because we're on our way to TJ Maxx. Actually, I'm in TJ Maxx's um, parking lot. So guys, we're about to go in TJ Maxx and guess what we about to do? We are about to look for a mirror, guys. So the bombshells will officially have a real mirror, guys. We're gonna, so we got some new blinds because I don't know if y'all noticed, but baby, hey, them blinds I had was snag tooth because they were older and like, so one day I was trying to like adjust the blinds and like open them because I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to pull them up and I didn't want the door open, but I wanted some more light in there while I was doing my makeup. Girl, why? How about I try to adjust the blinds or whatever? Adjusted the blinds and one of them, one of the teeth fell out, girl. And so then I tried to like manipulate it so it wouldn't look like it was snag a tooth, like it was missing a tooth. Tried to flip one blind going up and the other one coming down to fill the gap in, girl. Why that blind broke too? So the blinds just snag a tooth. And so maintenance came out and they gave me some new blinds. And so you know, I don't know if y'all noticed that, but I did notice it. And I was like, baby, let me, let me. Let me try to fix get these blinds fixed for they for they somebody say something. So we got the blinds fixed and now we finna go on TJ Maxx and see if we can find a mirror. Um so let's go in here and see if we can find a mirror. And then um we probably gonna stop at Jason's Deli and get something to eat. Oh sorry y'all, but let's just take care of the mirror. Let's just take care of the mirror part first and um let me get the phone like hooked up to the gimbal and stuff and I'ma see y'all when we get in TJ Maxx. They didn't have any cameras, but I at least wanted to come on here and show you my outfit of the day. I just have on this floral bodysuit with this cream belt. Guys, this is the belt that I purchased at that shoe store. Uh, the shoe store where all of the shoes were like $19.99. A shoe deal. When I took you guys to shoe deal in the first vlog, this belt is from there. It was like $7.99. And then I just have on these like uh, jogger like slacks. Guys, I purchased these at Bellevue Village. I think these were like $5. And then I just have on these clear little uh, slides that I bought from ASOS. So yeah, that's my outfit of the day. All right, hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog. So I did find some mirrors at TJ Maxx, uh, well, Home Goods. So I'm at the Home Goods that's closer to my house. So I found quite a few mirrors um, and they range anywhere from like, I'm gonna say 400 to about $80. Okay, y'all. So this one um, that I'm showing you guys, this one is um, $100. Let's see if I can get the price on here. There we go. So this one is $100. But y'all, look. Look at the width on it. And it is longer than it. It's taller than me, too. So let's look at it. Let's look at it right here. So it's, I think it's, let me see. So it's 70 by it's 70 by 24. Um, so this is like the perfect height and the perfect width. I just wanted something that was either more silver or more black. But yeah, guys, so I love this one. So um I don't have anyone to help me get it home. So we may not yeah. get it until uh, this weekend because I'll have some help this weekend or whatever. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a couple of options. But um, so yeah, this is the one we're gonna get. Oh, y'all look, y'all can see my whole body. <laughs> I'm excited. I finally made it home. So um, I think we'll have the mirror by Saturday because that's the day that my friend will be available to help me. Um, 
if I can get it done before, if we can get it here before, then I will be really happy about that. So I asked um, another one of my old college friends um, if he could come over, but, um, you know, just come over and um, or meet me at TJ Maxx and help me get it and just bring it to the house or whatever. But he has like a like a business engagement type of thing or whatever. And then, of course, there's always the option to like pay someone. But if I'm going to do that, I might as well just get the mirror from um I might as well just I might as well just get the mirror from uh Amazon if I'm gonna do all of that. So anyway, um so we're yeah, we're just gonna have him have my friend come over this weekend. He said he would meet me at TJ Maxx and stuff. And normally I don't let guys come over my house and stuff, but I don't really know anyone else or whatever. So these are uh these are people that I trust that I've been knowing for like over twenty years. So, but we don't, you know, we don't be hanging out at each other's houses and stuff like that. But, you know, this is just like one of those situations where I don't really have anybody else. And, um, you know, these are not guys that's ever tried to like, you know, talk to me or date me and stuff like that. It's never been a situation. In fact, my one college friend uh, who's going to come over here, well, the one who has the business thing tomorrow, he used to have like a serious crush on my best friend and then my best friend in college and then she ended up <laughs> getting married like she you know got married or whatever so his love his feelings was hurt when she got married so yeah but we've been knowing each other uh we've all been knowing each other for like over 20 years so i don't have to worry about no situation like him trying to like flirt with me and date me and all that kind of stuff so i do feel safe with him and my other uh friend from college or whatever so it's at this point it's just a matter of who's gonna be available first so hopefully um you know um uh, my friend uh, he, the one that does, is doing the business thing tomorrow he was like he will be available after two but we'll see you know we'll see what happens or whatever because i got some stuff you know some errors and stuff that i need to run guys i think i might um we, i might take y'all back to crazy boss in the thrift store because i wanted to do like a little halloween i wanted to make a halloween costume and i have something in mind but it just seems like it's going to be like kind of difficult to get the pieces and stuff uh uh you know in on time or whatever but we'll see so other than that like i just wanted to um you know come back and check in and stuff and uh you know give y'all an update um about the about the mirror and y'all i bought some um lip oil i can't remember who told me about this lip oil but i bought some lip oil and i also bought some um some i think like shea butter like lip gloss things or whatever so i got that and of course y'all know i'm a hair product junkie oh y'all don't know that y'all know it now and i love you know like i like oils and i like um conditioners i don't know what it is but baby i love me some hair oil and i love me some conditioner so i bought this like coconut shine serum for my hair so i'll put i put it on this side let me see i put it on this side and i'm noticing a difference and then um i'm gonna order one of those uh brushes from amazon that like make your hair like that's supposed to like make your hair really really defined so i'm gonna order that when I get off of here, but yeah, y'all, um, I don't know. I just wanted to come and check in and just like, you know, give you guys an update. Um, I don't think I have anything else to talk about tonight. I'm just, I'm trying to think, I guess I'm, I'm kind of, oh, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit tired. So anyway, uh, I guess I'm about to get off of here. So I'm about to get off of here and then I'm going to, um, I'm sorry, I, I had, I'm getting distracted. I had a text message coming through. That's why I'm kind of looking <laughs> at the screen kind of weird. But anyway, all right, y'all. So I'm going to get off of here and then, um, I'm going to come back probably tomorrow morning. I'm, I'm not going to make no promises, but I'm, I'm coming back tomorrow anyway. So yeah, guys, um, I hope you guys have a good night and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is October the 20th. All right, guys, so we are here and it is a lot of people. <laughs> it's a lot of people in here. So anyway, we're gonna look around and see if we can find anything, see if we can take advantage of the sale and um, 
I'm gonna come back and show you guys what I got if I get anything welcome back to the vlog so guys i ended up leaving value village because it was way too crowded in there so we are back at our official spot crazy boss and guys i'm just looking around for some basic things or whatever you've already been through y'all already been through the store so when i get home i'm gonna show y'all every or you know maybe yeah later on i'll show you guys everything that i got um I'll show you guys everything that I purchased, but when we leave here, we're gonna go back to Dee Dee's because I gotta get a couple of things from there. But I just wanted to come in and check in with you guys and let you know that we had to leave Value Village and we are in Crazy Boss. So let me look around and see what I can find and um, I'll jump back on here in a little bit. All right, y'all. I am back. And hey, baby, your girl just had a fight with the gimbal, baby. This gimbal got a bond of its own. But anyway, I had, um, I got the gimbal outfitted, um, with a light and a cold shoe. And anyway, now guys, I'm about to go into Kroger, at Kroger's, with an S on the end. I'm about to go in Kroger's, and um, <laughs> I'm about to go get some, um, and get some Aleve because my I'm kind of not, I feel okay, but I can just feel them cramps coming on, so I'm going to get some Aleve. And then I'm going to get some stuff to kind of like make me, like a light dinner type of situation, and I don't know if I'm going to go out and do something tonight, but we'll just stay tuned, so I just wanted to come and check in because I haven't really been on there on here that much today, so um, I'm going to go in the store real quick, get some stuff, and I'll come and check back in with y'all later on. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the vlog. It is uh, Thursday, the 21st of October. And it's a little bit after 10. And guys, I'm getting ready to go take some pictures. Um, I was going to go over by the Houston Galleria, but I don't really know of anywhere I can, like, where I can take pictures on the inside. So I'm just going to go over to City Center because I know that area really well. I know where I can, you know, places where I can go on the inside and take pictures and, you know, um and not have you know not have a problem or anything and then too it's is really hot outside and the outfit i'm wearing if i wear that literally if i wear it outside if i'm outside in that too long it's, it's not gonna be good so uh i'm getting ready to do that and then after that uh we're gonna go to uh i need to go to a fabric store guys because I'm actually, the surprise I had for you guys was um, I'm doing a costume, um, like a costume video. So I'm putting together a lot of really cute costume looks. And now I bought all of this stuff from Dee Dee's. Um, five costumes, y'all, for $60. And then that's not, of course, including the additional, you know, accessories and stuff that I needed to, uh, you know, to go with everything. So... I'm wanting one of the costumes. I want to build the skirt out a little bit and uh, the mermaid skirt because it's too tight. I can't walk it. I will. I can't really walk in it at the bottom. It's too tight. So I'm going to go and buy some tool and then I'm going to add more of an exaggerated fishtail to it so I can still move around. But it still has a really, uh, you know, exaggerated fishtail look. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Yesterday, I did not come back on here because when i left the um like when i left the grocery store i just kind of came home and i chilled i didn't do anything i was pretty much in the house chilling so that was basically about it so guys i'm going to i don't want to ramble i'm gonna finish my makeup look and um i'm gonna come back and uh you know i'll show you guys of course i'm gonna show y'all the look baby all right hey guys i am back and i'm finally dressed uh, so I have on this satin top. This satin top uh, was given to me by a company by the name of Sansome One. 
and I'm gonna link it below. There is also a uh, discount code, an additional 20% off. But yeah, this shirt was given to me. Of course, guys, this is not a sponsored video, but the company just wanted to gift me a few pieces. Uh, there is another shirt that I'm gonna show you guys later, but that it happens to be a little bit too small, but it is equally as cute. But yes, yeah, so this is a, uh, like I was saying, a black satin shirt and it is gorgeous. So it has the exaggerated sleeve. I absolutely love it. But guys, what I did, I just took and put one sleeve off the shoulder. Of course, it's not like that and not, I just pulled one sleeve up. I wanted to give it more of like a, um, I wanted to give it more of like a dramatic look. And then I also have on these black leather pants. Guys, I got these from Fashion Nova on a Christmas sale about a year and a half ago. These pants were about $12 um, after the sale. So yeah, I'm gonna be wearing them with these. Let me grab the shoe real quick. He told uh, pump, but it is super studded in the back. So it has a lots, lots and lots of studs on the back. So it's pearls, studs, and some type of diamond. And uh, I just have on a pair of of like, uh, I'll turn the camera around so you guys can see my earrings. All right, y'all, so this is my everyday makeup look. The only thing I did different is went a little bit more dramatic with the lashes. Um, I just have my hair, diff you know, diffused. It's still kind of damp or whatever, but it's as it dries, it's gonna get bigger and fuller and fluffier. Uh, also, I just have on these uh, rhinestone little earrings. Guys, I got these earrings from ASOS. Um, so let me grab my purse. Uh, and um we're gonna head out all right hey guys i'm in the elevator uh we're over here at city center i'm about to walk over to the hotel so we can get the pictures going and i'll see you guys in a minute and it's super hot out here so uh i'll see you when i get inside finished uh my photo shoot i met some really really nice guys uh out here they helped me baby they got your girl in the domain okay so the domain is like um like an apartment uh type of thing but it's more like a high rise it's really really nice so i got the footage um i got the pictures and guys i had on that um i had on that um that leather and that, that satin, baby, I was hot. So I had to change clothes. I just have on this jumpsuit. I'll show you guys a little bit later. So right now I have on this jumpsuit and we're walking back to the car. So we are about to go to, um, let me see. We're about to go to Joann's. So I'm gonna take you guys to Joann's. Joann's is more or less like a uh, fabric store. So we're gonna go get some tool to add to the uh, mermaid costume. Guys, uh, so yeah, I was I was just saying goodbye to some of the guys that I met here. So like I was saying, um, I think I said we we're about to head to Joanne's, and then when we leave there, we need to go pick up some dance tights, <laughs> get something to drink because I'm thirsty, and then um, yeah. So let me get in the car and get from out of this neighbor or get from out of this area, and I'm gonna see you guys when we get to Joanne's. Okay, y'all. Uh, we are at Joann's, um, and so let's go in here, and hopefully they'll have this tool that I need for this costume. And then you know the the uh, the line is not too long, so let me let's go in here and see what they have. I am back, and we are at the dance gallery, so let's go in here and see what they have. Hopefully they'll have my size. So, um, oh, not only, hopefully they'll have my size and also the color, like it'll be the right color or whatever. So, um, I don't know if I can film in here. If I can, I'll show you guys around. If not, I'll see y'all when I get back in the car. Quick, uh... 
からみんなでめちゃくちゃ踊って騒ごう騒ごう」I, had, I did not come on here yesterday because I have cramps. I had really bad cramps. I still don't feel 100% today, but I at least wanted to come back and check in with you guys. So on today's agenda, right now I'm cleaning, I'm washing, I'm about to make the bed, vacuum, you know, all of that Saturday stuff that, um, you know that you you guys might do on a Saturday. So I'm taking care of all of that stuff today. When I finish, we're gonna go to my mama's house. She's gonna help me uh, construct the mermaid dress or the mermaid shirt because uh, you know I've been having a little bit of trouble getting it attached to the skirt itself so we're gonna take care of that after that we might go get the mirror I don't know yet because my friend actually ended up um, you know like some things came up for him and he you know so he's all the way on the other side of town so um, I don't know if he's gonna be able to help me. I will try to get in contact with my neighbor. I don't know, but hopefully we'll get the mirror today. If not, guys, we can, you know, we can always get it tomorrow, whatever. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I think it's like maybe nine o'clock, but I just wanted to pop in real quick and um, show you guys the mirror. So I was finally able to get it here. I'm excited. Um, so yeah, guys, now when we, you know, do our little outfits when we going out and stuff, you know, um, <laughs> We can have a mirror where, you know, I have a mirror where I can show you guys <laughs> the look or whatever of the night. All right, y'all, I am back. And guys, it's like, it's like three o'clock in the morning. And um, so I was supposed to come back like right away, but I ended up getting sidetracked. But anyway, like I was saying, as far as the costumes are concerned, the costumes are ready. And so we gonna do the, the Tron haul um you know i'm gonna come in like later on today and show you guys like all of the different costume looks so they are finally ready um and y'all i know this vlog has been <laughs> y'all this vlog has been all over the place but you know i'm just a little bit uh disoriented you know my um you know my organization and stuff is off and you know i just tend to get this way from time to time and then also like i was saying uh before you know, I just have really, really bad cramps. And unfortunately, you know, I'll just be honest. It just kind of, it, it just kind of gets me off of my game, unfortunately. And that's, um, uh, that also has a lot to do with why, well, why I switched from doing like really dedicated fashion videos to vlogging. Um, because again, it does have a lot to do with, you know, just going through that, the you know monthly cycle or whatever and um it's a lot of times where i can't fit clothes and stuff and then you know i'm physically exhausted and i'm just not i just don't have the energy to get up in front of the camera and just do outfit after outfit those those dedicated fashion videos that i used to do that takes a lot of work and you know I'm, i don't know if a lot of you guys know this but i have a degree in fashion and so a lot of the things that i would uh that i would have try on in that haul a lot of that stuff i was making you know uh, i was doing my own alterations or i was doing a lot of the sewing by hand at times it would take me like three days to prepare a lot of those clothes and then of course you have to take into consideration a lot of that stuff had to be dry cleaned or whatever so that's why and then you know like i said having cramps and you know so it was just hard to just crank out those videos on a consistent basis so that's why i did switch to vlogging because with vlogging i just think that people are more forgiving of the content you know like this vlog being all over the place people are going to be you guys are the bombshells will be a little bit more forgiving if things are not perfect or you know whereas with those dedicated fashion tron hauls baby you got to be on point you got to be on point everything needs to be pulled together everything needs to look a certain way or whatever so yeah but anyway i just wanted to um you know check in and and let you guys know about the costumes and stuff i know that i've been talking about that off and on throughout the whole blog but guys i just um you know i just haven't been feeling like myself or whatever but hopefully we'll be back on track soon
All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And as promised, I am bringing you this uh, costume try on. And I absolutely love this first look. This first look, oh, actually, guys, all of these looks are going to be from Crazy Boss. But this first look was $8 and it has three pieces. So it has this cute little top. This is actually attached to the top. So it goes all the way around the back. And then it also has these cute uh, genie pants. Um, the bottom, of course, is just like the little, uh, I guess, like the elastic uh, piece around the, the foot. Um, and then it has these cute little uh, briefs that came with it. So these three pieces came together. And guys, I have on these dance uh, tights or whatever. These were purchased from, uh, from Dance Gallery. So I went to an actual dance store and I purchased these because, you know, I didn't want all, you know, if I wear this out, I didn't want too much skin showing. So yeah, guys, I absolutely love this look. Uh, so this is going to be look number one. All right, guys, so this is actually uh, look number two. Uh, this mermaid costume, believe it or not, guys, it was $5. And then I actually went to the fabric store and because I, I wanted to add a little bit more volume to the skirt and make it a little bit more, um, you know, fishtail-ish because the initial skirt, you like literally you have to put your whole legs in the skirt. I'm going to start a picture to show y'all. But anyway, so I went to the fabric store and I purchased this tool to add because I wanted the I wanted the bottom to be a, a lot more dramatic. And guys, my mom actually did this for me. So let's give a shout out to my mama. And uh, she actually added the uh, the fishtail to the end and she did a beautiful job. But I absolutely love this costume. So this came with this cute little uh, bra top, the skirt, and then it came with like some little, um, bikini bottoms but i couldn't fit those they were way too small so yeah guys i absolutely love this um i actually have on you can probably see it but i have on the same bikini bottoms that i had on from the uh from the mermaid costume so you can see that and then of course i still have on the on these tights because i'm gonna be wearing these tights with pretty much all the costumes but anyway so i just wanted to sh show you guys the uh bikini bottoms or whatever and so yeah you can see these through the costume but that that's fine that's not a big deal so yeah the uh fishtail pretty much goes all the way around now guys if i wear this i would absolutely <laughs> i would absolutely wear this with some heels but i love it i think it is so cute it actually did come with like a little headpiece but i don't i don't know what i did with it so yeah um I just saw, I just kind of, you know, took my hair down out of the genie ponytail and just put it in this cute little curly, you know, Floyd style or whatever. So yeah, guys, this is going to be look number two. You guys, tell me what you think and what your favorite look is going to be, but we're about to get into look number three. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So can we get into look number three? Y'all y'all <laughs> i absolutely love this guys this is the uh i'm trying to yeah i'm trying to step back a little bit so y'all can see the boots so let me just start from head to toe okay well the name this is like a burlesque bride look uh so i just wanted to do something really with this look just really white and clean and and super glamorous and so I purchased this headpiece from Amazon. This headpiece was $11. Guys, I already had these earrings because I went to a wedding a few years ago and it was a very, very glamorous wedding. And so I did want something, you know, that was, you know, fit the theme of the wedding. So I purchased these earrings. Guys, this bustier is from Crazy Boss. This bustier was $9.99. And then this is a uh, fishnet bodysuit that is actually now this did not come together i did pair this this together this bodysuit the is fishnet and lace it was five dollars uh 99 cents and then um i have these white boots these white boots are probably from like six maybe seven years ago i purchased these boots because i was going to a costume party and i dressed as a dallas cowboy cheerleader so that's why i still have these 
But yeah, guys, so I absolutely love this look. Now, as far as the back, um, I still have on the dance tights, so you really can't see anything. But um, if I actually, uh, or it gives the illusion that you can, but you really cannot. Now, guys, if I was to actually um, wear this look out somewhere, I would probably add a tail to the back. Uh, just to kind of give it, you know, a little bit more coverage. I don't know if I would go out with the, you know, with the back part or whatever out. Um, so, yeah, just I would just simply add like a, a bridal tail or overskirt to the back of it just to, you know, give me a little bit more coverage. And then as far as this like little um, string right here, this is the um, this is the string that you use to adjust the back of the uh, bustier. So you just pull it like this to make it tight um you can make it as tight as you want um now you can cut the string uh if you want uh, but me personally because i'm not gonna i don't know if i'm when you know when i'm gonna be wearing this i won't cut the string i'll just kind of wrap it around like i'm showing you guys and just tuck it in like this and um of course the you know the snaps on here i did notice that they were just kind of you know like a little bit difficult to snap or whatever and so um if you guys decide to go get something like this what i would encourage that you do is snap everything and then adjust the back of it you know and so um if i were to wear this that's probably what i'll do the next time but yeah guys i absolutely love this look it's so pretty and it's just like it's sexy it's pretty it is just so glamorous and i just love it i don't know this is a look i don't want to take off but yeah guys so this is going to be look number three and um i'm gonna come back and show you guys look number four all right guys so let's get into this last and final look of course this last and final look is a sexy police officer i couldn't i couldn't close this out i couldn't do a costume look without throwing in a sexy police officer costume so we're gonna start from the head to from my head to the toes so guys i purchased this hat oh my god like i purchased this hat like i want to say seven years ago from uh probably from party city um it's just a sequence police hat i purchased these aviators a few months ago from asos guys this silky this this leather um boosty a gorgeous leather boosty a came from crazy boss guys i just purchased this last week and it was 9.99 um this belt was purchased from asos this belt was purchased over three years ago and then these handcuffs was purchased from uh i think party city and they were only I mean that yeah, Party City, but these handcuffs was purchased like again, again like six, seven years ago because I purchased it at the same time I purchased this hat because I went as a police officer uh, in the past in another. Uh, I went in the past or whatever. So yeah, I just took the uh, handcuffs, I attached them to the belt, and then guys, this uh, the bodysuit under here. This is something that I already have, but I've never worn. This guys is just a satin. Um, let me see if I can fold this down. This is just a satin bodysuit. Again, I already had this. This was purchased from ASOS, and this was purchased maybe about three years ago. But this has never actually been worn. But I put it um, on top of this because you know I just wanted like uh you know i just wanted you know just some extra coverage or whatever under the bustier um i purchased these cute little booties about a year ago these booties were purchased from dillard's outlet and these booties were 17 dollars um they are actually all leather and these are calvin klein booties believe it or not but yeah i absolutely love this costume i kept on the um the rhinestone earrings from the previous look because I really didn't have any earrings that I felt went with this costume. I probably could have just did some hoop earrings, but whatever. So yeah, I absolutely love this. And then as far as the back, the back of the um, the back of the um, the bodysuit is kind of like a I guess a French cut because it's not exactly a thong and it's not a full brief, but it's French cut or whatever. But yeah, guys, I absolutely love this look. I love how everything is just snatched in, honey. So yeah, guys, so this is the, um, 
I'm, I'm going to say the long awaited or anticipated trial haul that I've been talking about throughout this whole blog. But yeah, so I finally put everything together and I love it. So guys, y'all comment down below what your favorite look is. Did you guys like the, uh, you like the genie? Did you like the mermaid? Did you like the beautiful, sophisticated, glamorous, uh, burlesque bride? Or do you like the, uh, risque, scandalous, sexy police officer? So let me know what your favorite look was below. all right guys i am back and i am tired um i just want to come in and say guys this vlog it was a little bit all over the place so i appreciate y'all for staying and watching the entire vlog um you know as i kind of been saying throughout the vlog i just i really just was not you know feeling a hundred percent or whatever i'm feeling a lot better now and so in the next vlog and then too like it just felt like I was just working so hard to like the whole vlog, just working hard to get that mirror home girl and get them costumes together. And baby, them costumes, just trying to get that stuff together. Like all of the costumes came together fairly easily in terms of me just getting the stuff from Crazy Ball. So everything you guys saw, that stuff was like $61 but everything with the exception of like the tool that I bought for the skirt and the, like, like the accessories I had and all of that stuff. I already had that stuff already. But anyway, I kind of just spent the last few days trying to get that because I was, I was just trying to get this vlog out to you guys before Halloween. So y'all can have, you know, some Halloween ideas or whatever. So I did that. Um, so yeah, you know, we didn't go a lot of places and stuff, but you know, guys, it's gonna, it's gonna be some times where we're not gonna always go a lot of places. It's not gonna be like a super lit vlog. And this is just one of those times, but, um, the next vlog should be a lot of fun. So, um, I'm going to close this one out. I just came back to say, thank you guys. You know, thank y'all, uh, for those who, who hung in there. <laughs> So for the ones who hung in there with me because baby this was a rocky this was a bumpy ride this was a bumpy ride um and then too uh, i had audio issues and stuff so yeah girl i'm just working my you know i'm just trying to you know figure this thing out or whatever but anyway um i just want to say thank you guys for hanging in there with me and um of course please comment like and subscribe on this video guys we are on our way i told y'all before our journey up to a thousand subscribers or whatever so yeah i would definitely appreciate if you guys if you haven't subscribed please do so um as you know as soon as possible whatever but yeah um yeah i think that's i think that's everything i want to say so yeah guys thank you so much for watching and uh i will see you in the next one